Hey everyone, it's Daniel here from the world of Apple with a quick video about my top 10 favorite free Mac applications. Keep in mind that these are in no particular order. It'd be way too hard to have me do that. First of all, my all-time favorite web browser is Apple's own Safari. It's speedy, efficient, and gets the job done very well. If I didn't love Safari so much, I would choose Google Chrome because of its speed. Since I like to be notified of my emails as soon as I get them on my Mac, I really like Google Notifier. It's a menu bar application that pops up with a growl notification whenever you receive a new email in Gmail or have a calendar notification in Google Calendar. When I clean out my hard drive, I rely heavily upon an application called Grand Perspective. It shows a visual representation of the files on your Mac's hard drive or in a particular folder. This is really useful for finding out about any big, unused files that are wasting space on your hard drive. If you find yourself ever replacing your Mac's hard drive or making backups before a format, a must-have application is Carbon Copy Cloner. It lets you make duplicate copies of your hard drive and then saves them as disk images for later use. When I first got my new Mac, I found out that it was quite hot to the touch in certain areas. After discussing this with several Apple representatives, I was told that this heat is to be expected from a MacBook Pro. Still not satisfied, I set out on a journey to find a way to keep my Mac cool. Sure, I could have bought some accessories to keep it elevated, but I am much more satisfied with SMC Fan Control. It lets you control the minimum fan speed on your Mac. Originally, mine was about 2,000 revolutions per minute, but I bumped it up to 3,000 and saw significant results. Be careful with applications like these though. They might not be the best idea to modify system settings like these. Most of my video viewing needs, I use QuickTime X, but sometimes that just does not suffice, so I use VLC Media Player. This application takes a little while to load, but when it does, it's great for viewing those stubborn files that QuickTime just doesn't accept. I don't find myself using this application often, but when I do, it sure comes in handy. I'm talking about VirtualBox, which allows you to run multiple operating systems at the same time on your Mac. Sometimes, I need to make a flowchart or diagram, and doing one in iWork is just not efficient. In these circumstances, I use MindNode, an excellent mind mapping application. Every so often, I notice my Mac getting slower, so I use Onyx to clean the system. It has many tools that work to make your Mac faster and have better performance. I always use Apple's iWork suite, but if I didn't have that, I would use NeoOffice for sure. It is a free alternative to word processors, spreadsheets, and presentation applications that you pay a lot of money for. So, these are my favorite free Mac applications. All of them have their pros and cons, but one thing's for sure, the price can't be beat. Did I miss your favorite free app? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching another video by the world of Apple. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.